Hi, but this is Marishi on my channel Chalaka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which wanted to come through for this week. We got a full card in reverse, we've got the King of Swords in reverse, the center of the reading is the Star card, we've got the Empress in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. Behind the deck is the Emperor. When I broke the deck, we've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh my. Virgo. We got the Emperor and the Empress in reverse. Hmm. I want to say there are so many people who is involved or who is impacting your life in a negative way. Hmm. It could be anybody. It could be family, it could be friends. It could be a third party as well. Who's stopping you in your tracks? Who's not letting your dreams be fulfilled okay there is so much negativity in your reading actually the, the vibe of your reading is negative okay it's almost like every step you take you need to be worried about others there is others always in your story okay it makes you very unhappy it makes you very oh. very negative actually okay when you're chasing your dreams it's almost like you are manipulating okay uh, there is a selfishness or self-centered energy it's almost like um i'll tell you how it's coming through it's almost like you have to beat down the other people to get what you want because they are in your way huh you went with the ace of swords perfectly okay but just this is a card which came through when i broke the deck there is so much negative thinking in your head. I might be speaking directly to the Virgo person or the cross watch. So, it's, it's, it's the way of um, life you need to manipulate, strategize. It, it's not like, you know, you get up and you, you chillaxed, you relaxed. No. Every, every minute detail you need to be very much. This is the way you're thinking. It's not like this, this is the way it should be. Hmm? You are like, I need to, I, I really need to manipulate the situation so it goes this way. Even if you don't have to, it's just going to the grocery. Huh? But then you're thinking it like, you know, Why would I take the example of a grocery right now? It's, it's the smallest of things, you know? I should not take this route. I should take the other route because this person will be watching from the balcony. What the fuck? Who cares? Yeah? Uh, uh, it's, it's just like uh, 10 p.m. in the night, I need to go to the grocery. But then I cannot uh, take the lift because this person might be watching, so I need to take the stairs. And then go to the ninth floor. I might be in the tenth floor. I need to go to the ninth floor and take the lift from there because otherwise the people in my floor is going to see me taking the lift at this time. Does that make sense now? Who the fuck cares? It's your life. You're paying your bills, not your neighbor. Now it makes perfect sense for the grocery thing, right? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Just like, you have to overthink. Overthink everything. It's almost like you want to portray yourself as this goody goody uh, two shoes. For that you need to keep this reputation up. 
So you need to manipulate everything you're doing, come up with stories, etc. Okay? Moving on. It's almost like it's a way of life now. This, not, this might not be for everybody out there. This might be for just one person or some of you. Really need to hear it right now. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with an Aries person. I'm always speaking with the Virgo. Or an air sign person. Or an Aquarius. Hmm? There is so much unhappiness in um, the person whom I'm speaking to is very unhappy. Okay? Very unhappy with how things are. Hmm? It's almost like every corner they take, they're slapped down by other people. To survive, they need to fight. Now I, I, I feel bad, okay? Because that, that is a difficult way to live your life. Hmm? Being way, very much calculated about your next move. Huh? Just after you have brushed your teeth, everything you do has to be planned because you need to watch your back that is going to be a difficult life to live. Unless this is the way you think it has to be. Hmm? Mm -hmm. To get on top of things, to get what you want. This is the way you're thinking. And you can actually live a relaxed life because nobody in real is actually behind your back. Nobody wants to, you know, be the killjoy in your life. No, nobody cares. You can live your life like anyhow, but still, you're pushing yourself to be the strategist in your life, which is taking a toll in your life, which is actually taking a toll in your headspace. which makes you a very unhappy person. I see you like somebody who is putting up a facade. Just to keep up this facade, you have to be very much unlike yourself. Does that make sense? I know this is not for everyone because this is a difficult life to live. Yeah? This is a strange reading. Now I have to admit it, okay? Because this this doesn't come out um, often, okay? At least I I don't remember doing something like this before. say there is a relationship aspect to this reading okay I always say whoever I'm reading to is the Empress okay and there is another the counterpart is the Emperor to match up okay to match up to, oh you can't see the card still okay to match up the energy of the person whom you're dealing with you have to be on the same wavelength okay when i said it is a facade which is difficult to keep up yet you are keeping it up what is the reason there has to be reason right because the person whom you're dealing with is the emperor who is showing up with the ace of swords in reverse 
this person is negative this person is selfish this person is arrogant okay very much on a negative spice okay there there is this arrogance about this person i can get away with anything i want no because i'm the emperor i'm the emperor just, just my phone just blinked makes sense and my ear is clutching yeah. this is very specific for someone out there the person whom you're dealing with is very negative and over time over time you have dealt with their character and become yourself as this empress and the king of swords in reverse the same mentality it has become normal to be that okay to be this person's counterpart hmm? you have to you were unhappy doing that but yet you have to okay you got to do it because you know probably this emperor is what you wished for and you have to live up to him you have to live up to him. And I always say whoever you're dealing with has multiple people. When I spoke about you beating down, okay, you have to be this, you have to be one step ahead of the other person. It could be the other people who is involved. It's like you tiptoeing around all the others to have this person you know with you and not wanting to share this person but I'm telling you there is so many people who is involved in this person's life and that might be the reason why you are so unhappy okay there is only one element here which is you're doing all this for the sake of your dream. I would only tell you, is it even worth it? Changing yourself for a person. Okay? If you are stepping up to a better level, to be fit for a person who was way like, 10 times better than you then it's a good thing okay it's a good thing to match up their wavelength but if you are here and the person whom you're dealing with is 15 20 steps below you okay in their wavelength in the way they uh, live their life is it justifiable for you to come down or stoop down to their level oh my god because somebody is doing this right there somebody is really doing this somebody is stooping down to their level which is not justifiable even in the spirit world they're pissed at you i'm telling you they're pissed at you and I'm going through the torch. I don't know what's with today. Because oh my god, Leo's was another level. Okay. So somebody is stooping down. And there is no excuse. Assess is this dream or is this a wish? Uh, is this person even worth it? For you to go down to their low life. Hmm? You are unhappy, but yet you are actually uh, being them. You're mimicking them. You're telling the lies which is normal for them. And now it is becoming normal for you. Okay? 
You're a changed person. And change for the worse, actually. It's not change for the better. Oh, this reading is annoying me. Ah, oh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. The emperor whom you're dealing with might not even care about you. Okay. Oh, wow. It's just one second. There's so much conflicts between the two of you. There's so much negativity between the two of you. You're just holding on to this person for I don't know what. Hmm? Because center of the reading is a star. He's the star, superstar in your eyes. How does this even work? Okay? And this... Oh, I want to do... Huh. This person doesn't even care. Okay? He's not even holding on to this relationship. When I said he has multiple person, people in his life, you are just one of them for... You, you, you're not the top priority for this person. Hmm? And you know it very well. You know the reality. But you just don't want to see through it yet. You're not being logical. You're not being practical about um, this whole scenario with this person. They might have just dumped you as well. And you're still holding on to them. Hmm? The world card and the process. You're fighting it. You're fighting for the world, for your world to be intact with this person because you see this person as your perfect partner. Your part in life whom you want to make a family with yes but this is yeah, four of wands in reverse the stability is is not there from the very start yeah lovers in reverse you might have split up already this person has given up on you already Okay, with the fourth, that's what I, I, I had to smirk at that one because the emperor has already released you and you're very much aware of it. Yet, this is how you are, whatever I said in the starting. Hmm? You're doing everything in your power to have your space. Although you already lost your position in this person's life, you're not giving up. You're just not giving up. Hmm? The love is in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. This, this, whatever you had has already crumbled down. Hmm? Heart Priestess, you're not ready to accept it anymore. Uh, yet. You're still thinking of, about ways to figure it out. How to turn things around again. Okay? Nine of Wands, you're still thinking about um, you just want things to be in the past and make things work again. It's almost like you don't want to listen to your inner voice, which tells you. Okay? You're not willing to remove the blindfold yet and see the truth of the matter, which is the sun. It is clear as day. Okay? What this person is up to. They might be already involved with the third person, but you are like, you know, a little delusion. I'm sorry to say that, but... Yeah. Um, the, uh, some of you, just because you're going through the situation, your head is hurting. Okay? And you can't think straight. You can't see things as it is. Okay? Just because this is one, not what you expected. 
you are shutting down you are shutting down because you don't want to see things you you you're just not ready to accept it you had high hopes about this person you did everything you could you put in all your uh, 200 percent in this relationship but yet it did not work out because it was never meant to work out this is not the person for you this shouldn't have um you know you shouldn't have been the person you might have uh, you should have involved with in the first place this is the wrong kind of person because when i told you about the you know stooping down god some of you might hate me for this reading but i cannot help it okay i i hate this reading i'm telling you just like that because it's um i put in a lot of soul into these readings okay it just does not come out just like that no okay it okay moving on and it affects me okay it affects me okay temperance and the six of wands you are not willing to accept your loss you're not willing to give up you're not willing to um as a failure okay as a things not working out for you with the six of wands and the temperance no you just cannot wrap your head around it it's hurting your head because it's hurting my mind right now your way of thinking right now is gradually things will work out hmm so yes um over the prince of pentacles and the five of cups in reverse you're not thinking about what has been lost no you're thinking about what can be saved and slowly gradually okay with the prince of pentacles slowly you can make things work okay that is what i meant with the fool card in reverse very calculated approach very calculated what what i need to do next i cannot lose out on my um dream okay no i'm not giving up that is why all this manipulation is coming through okay it makes sense right now okay because you have lost out to the others you have lost out to the others the person has released you the, the person doesn't want you in their life but yet you're not giving up okay queen of pentacles you you don't have it in your hand anymore it it, it has slipped out the opportunity which you were holding on tightly it has slipped out the person has separated ways six of cups you are still holding on to something which you know you might have had something in the past okay it might have been nice but now it is not there anymore but still you are still thinking about what was there once upon a time yeah three of pentacles and the two of wands you might be talking to many people about this what can be done you are making it public for some of you okay i'm seeing this you are saying things okay just to make people aware this is how it had uh, had been i get this is what happened two of wands because you have this vision in your head that there is a future things are going to make um you know things are going to work out you 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 still see this person coming back to you still expect things to work out it's it's stressing your head it's stressing mind too okay it is it's burdening you it's it's a heavy burden which you you know all this manipulation everything okay i'm telling you this when i told you about you know after you brush your teeth every step in your life every uh, hour of your life you are planning it out okay because you have an agenda in your head which is a negative agenda actually it is not for your good it is not going to serve you that is why the negativity is coming through for you okay because so much manipulation so much man 
because I, I do understand it to a level, okay, you are obsessed with this person, you cannot give up on this person because this person was your dream, okay. Yeah, some of you cannot sleep as well. Some of you just cannot get get through it. You've lost your faith within the situation, but yet, how much ever, okay? It's it's a struggle, it's a challenge. It's 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 such a challenge. You cannot see it working out because you understand there's people involved other people involved in his or her life whoever whoever the emperor is okay you're dealing with competition and you understand you have lost your chance okay you understand you have lost your chance but but the interesting factor in your reading is what the they really want to show you is or show me is that you are not giving up you're so determined okay it's stressing me out you're so determined to make it work okay because you see a future with this person that is why you're not giving it's almost like you you like all these people will come and go in their life I am going to be constant. I am going to be the only one in their life. The ones which they are involved with right now is going to be just a chapter in their life. When they ch turn the chapter, I will be right there in the next page. Hmm? That is why the manipulation of being in the story, okay, the calculativeness uh, to be a part of their life still, so you can crawl your way back into their life. I know this is a creepy negative reading, but that's what I'm seeing. Can I help it? No. Very unhappy, okay? Just um, even when your dream is this, when your dream is to make it big, okay? Make, uh, have a future with this person, have the stability and the security with this person because you see them as your perfect partner in life. Okay? The Empress is seeing the Emperor as a perfect partner whom they can make children, grandchildren, uh, you know? live with them for the next 40 50 60 years that's that's how they see um themselves together mm? but yet the hope is dying okay current situation what stresses you out is somehow you're losing out somehow you do not have the potential because when I showed you the Emperor with the Ace of Swords in reverse, they know exactly what is your game plan. They really know what you're up to. They're not stupid. And when that happens, okay, you know you're losing out. You know you're wasting your life. Because when I show you the Four of Swords in reverse, it's all, it's, um, it bluntly says you don't have faith in the situation, but I, I also want to say you don't know what to do otherwise. You know how things are, but you're not giving up because you don't know what to do otherwise. Other than this, you don't know how to move on. That is sad. I sympathize with you right there, but not the rest of the reading. Okay? It is challenging for you, but you need to make some kind of um, step and that step would be backing off, again okay, backing off from their life. Only then will you try to think about you, what you really need without the other person in the story, in, in your life. Okay, you need to 
push them aside even from your head to start thinking about you. Only then will you get a clearer picture what you need to do because it's right there in front of you. You just don't want to see it because it's blurring out when you think about the other person who has doubted you, who is involved with another person right now, who doesn't care about you. Okay? Only when you think about you will that person blur out and you will see what you need in your real life. Yeah. You need to take charge of your life. Okay? With the seven of cups and reverse, you need to get out of the clouds. You know, the illusions which you have, that needs to dissipate. And then see through things as it is. Only then, just what I said, can you take charge of your life. Okay? You need to blur out the images which you have about this person, getting back with them, all that, you know, it's up in the clouds, it's out of reach, you need to understand that. And that is, that is what they're showing, okay, take charge of your damn life, it's high time, okay, just, just let go, just let go, only then can you come out of this fucked up situation of being in this five pentacles, mm -hmm. you will get out of it. Only when you take charge. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, judgment and the two of pentacles and the deck card. It's almost like, uh, I'll tell you one thing which came through when I looked at the judgment. You need to speak out the truth. Okay? You need to accept it first. You need to tell people because you have been manipulating people for so, uh, some time. Let's, let's agree with that. Okay? You did not um, say it's over. Okay? You might not be telling your parents it's over. It has been already over for five months now. But you're still putting up the facade that we are together. I'm going out with him. I'm going out with her for coffee. Blah, blah, blah. We are going to the beach. Blah. When it's not a truth, you might be going alone and sitting by the beach. Okay, but you're putting up this story, this facade that you're still together. What for? Hmm? It's, it's just a story which you are weaving. It's a difficult to get out of it. I will tell you one thing. What, what came through is you need to vocalize it. You need to, if you are in, still in a relationship on Facebook with this person, Change it. Okay? Start putting it out there. Start making it real that it's over. Hmm? If that is how it, it would get easier. When people know, yeah, people don't ask you about them because they know you're split up. Okay? Make it make it easier for yourself as well. Okay? You don't have to put up with any bullshit. It is normal in life to split up with people. It's not a big deal. If it's over, it's over. Nobody is going to sh um, care a damn. Hmm? Stop being vocal. Hmm? Start telling the truth. Yeah. Stop being pretentious. Stop being. Stop weaving stories because I see you doing that. Okay. Stop trying to, you know, trying to keep everything in balance. Showing people how much ever slippery the rock is. You're trying to show, I'm good. Everything is good. Everything is all right. No, it's not all right. Say it. Say it. It's not working. Say it. It's 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 been difficult. I'm going through a divorce. I'm going through a split up right now. It's difficult. You will get the emotional support you want. You will get half people. Who will help you? Okay? Who will help you emotionally? Who will make it easier for you? Hmm? To have this transition. To, move, to, to leave things in the past and move on. Only thing is, what they're showing me is, be vocal about it. Speak your truth. Speak the reality of things. From there on, that is the first 
step towards this transformation, the transition to something which is better out there. Leaving the past, leaving this person who has been negative, a negative past in your past. Maybe let me say, keeping 2019 in 2019 and moving to 2020, which is much more better. Hmm? Yes, seven of swords. Yeah, just, just what I'm speaking, what you need, leave with it. Okay, take what you need and go into 2020. You not, need not take the crap along with you. When you're transitioning, only take what you need. Okay, don't take, take the bullshit 2019. Don't take this person's energy along with you into 2020. It's not even worth it. You don't have to live with the memories of this person who has fucked up your life. No. Okay, sneak away, escape, escape the past. Escape the past and look out for a new, a new year actually. Prince of Cups and Prince of Swords. Prince of Cups, just what I'm saying. With the seven of swords, okay? What has ended, what is not serving you, okay? Just be done with it, okay? What is not happening, what is not working out, what you're not getting anything out of it. Just leave it behind. Eight of Wands in reverse. What is not working out? What is not moving? What there is no movement. Three cards which speaks the same thing actually. Okay, just leave it behind. Six of Swords. The whale cards come through. Um, six of Swords. Leave everything in the past and move on into your future. Hmm? Even the death card spoke about the same thing. Move on. Leave the past behind. And you need to think about it. Think about how you can cut the cords. Okay? For each of you, it would be a different way. Okay? For some of you, it might be vocalizing your truth. When I spoke about the... Sorry. When I spoke about the judgment. Okay? It is again asking you to find ways to actually... Cut the cords. What is keeping you addicted to their energy? Cut the devil's energy. What might be addictive to you? What is toxic 